So yesterday, my boy SPK shared me this link of this video that's going quite viral on TikTok. And it's kind of going viral on other places on social media. And it was shared by a by the name of Aja Alia. Now, obviously, she's just resharing the TikTok on her Facebook page. Um, but before she shares the video, there's a message there and it says, listen, I'm not going to keep telling you broke ninjas what your daddy's daddy should have taught y'all. And it looks like this is a brother um, that might be like Ethiopian American or from somebody someplace else. Um, but he's talking about that American men are the only group that argue about going 50-50. Um, so I don't know if he's in Canada or from the United States, uh, but he has an interesting video. We're going to go ahead and play it and break that down. So this is a PSA to American men. Um, I don't know if you realize that you're the only group of men in the world that literally argues about going 50 50. OK, other groups of men understand that they are to be the main providers and in many times the sole providers financially in the relationship when it comes to bills okay for some reason american men don't grasp this concept and they argue that they should be going 50 50 on the bills i once had a talk with one of my african friends and brought up 50 50 he laughed at me and he said 50 50 that's not a wife well that is a roommate you see other group of men understand what respect in their house looks like it's stability, okay? Uh, y'all need to get with the program, man. Y'all behind, come on. So there you go. He makes some strong points, all right? And especially at the end, he talks about, he has an African friend um, that he laughs at the idea of being 50-50. And you know that uh, that's, that's more like a roommate, not a wife. But now, why is it that American men are arguing about being 50 50? We'll see some guys who are uh, coming to America from other places um, or their family comes from other places. Let's say, for example, if you're coming from like Nigeria, uh, you're coming from Russia, more patriarchal societies where men um, are running the house, men are running communities like Indian men. Um, well, your women are taught to be submissive to the men and be more appreciative to the men who are providing those services. But now you, you, you see American men getting attacked for going 50, 50. Now, again, I'm, I'm like an old school guy, right? I don't believe in the 50, 50 thing. So I kind of more or less agree with what the guy is saying, but at the same time, we got to look at it as a whole. American men have been taught to women are our equals. Women have been lobbying for equality women want this they have asked for it they have fought for it they even brag about it i can make more than a man i can do everything that a man can do okay and in the black community it's permeating with the conversation that you know we're more educated than you black men are we're more or less in corporate america all right so you don't have to sit back and be tied down to the kitchen anymore you don't have to do that because of your level of skill set, of your level of education. We get it. You have arrived. But at the same time, with this newfound attitude, here you are looking for a man to pay the bills, most of the bills, when you are a woman that has a problem with doing some things that are considered domestic. Many professional women, okay? Um, that I've seen on, on social media, and I cannot say all, but I'm just saying I've seen many cases of this. They have complained about being, you know, the uh, stereotypical housewife preparing food for uh, their husbands or a man that they're involved with. They, they're above that. In that area, they're above reproach. They're untouchable. How dare you ask me to prepare food for a man? Sex? whenever I feel like it, because I don't have to have sex with you if I don't want to, because this is equality. Got that. Understand it. Cleaning, you clean yourself. I'm not your mother. I'm not, you clean after yourself. Got it. Okay, fine. Well, since that is your position and you're independent, you don't really feel like you need a man. Well, then let's go 50-50 then. It's only, it's only the right thing to do because me and you are equals, right? 
So if we're going to be in this relationship, you make enough money to select the guy that you want to date, then we need to do 50 50 because you don't want to really be bound to cleaning or cooking. Let's just give equal into the relationship. You give 50 percent and I give 50 percent of everything. Women have a problem with it. The reason why, because men are going to be considered broke if they say that. Right. No, men are just wanting to eat. We want the same thing women want. We want equality. The men who are talking like this doesn't make them broke because men understand something that this guy doesn't get. What are you? You're not going to get anything. If you pay 100 percent of the bills, you're going to get the same thing for many guys as if you were paying 50 percent because women will then become entitled to feel like they deserve it, although they don't do what you had to do to get that money. See, they want to make all of their money and spend none of theirs. They want you to make your money and spend all of yours. That's not equality, ladies. It's called a one sided conversation, a one sided relationship. The inputs are unequivalent here. And see what this guy is saying is, OK, if you want respect in your relationship, you need to pay for everything. Got it. But how many women are still going to give you that relationship, that, 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 those expectations? They're still going to work. They're still going to build their bag up their pension up you'll be paying the bills they'll still going to be at work anyway and guess what you're not going to be getting a woman cooking and cleaning for you for what they're still going to be at work and then sitting around talking about how they don't need no man while you're paying for everything that is what's going to happen so the reason why american men are are wanting to go 50 50 because that's what the world taught us okay women are equal they are your equals many of men have been raised by women especially black men so, okay, I need to do my part. So here's what you're, what you're finding out. Women don't want to do their part financially at 50-50. They don't want to give 50-50. We know that because in relationships, it's more or less, listen, what the woman wants. I want a man who's going to be there for me. I want a man who's going to support me. I want a man who's going to be doing this and that. I want a man who's going to have me when I'm dead. But see, what, what does she have to do for you? It doesn't even matter, right? We all know that the requirements that 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 you have for her are non-existent because you're not supposed to require anything for her because who who are you to re ask a woman to do anything for you right you shouldn't have any standards anyway you should have blindly go into a relationship where you're doing everything that she wants you to do and she doesn't have to do anything in return we get it got that part okay so and then you're supposed to pay for not getting anything in return for everything and if you don't do it you're broke but now where's the sacrifice from her we get the sacrifice that the man is looking to has to do. Okay, fine. That's okay. What about what these women are getting? In other words, if men were to pay 80, 20 or 90, 10 or hundred zero, what do they get? Are they going to get value for their money? Most American men are going to say no. And I'm not going to say all, but, but most because women haven't been taught that they need to give men value for their money, for their investment. All, most women have been taught that they just need to show up. Them being there is good enough. You should be glad that some woman wants to be in your life. Pay for everything. Doesn't matter. Like, why are you questioning that? That's the problem that we have here. If we have more women that had, you know, were looking to, get, and there are some, there are, they're there, but you know, for some guys, it might be, you know, really hard trying to find them. That's the problem that we're talking about. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again here on the channel, guys. What did you think about this conversation? Do you have a problem going 50-50? or not. See you in the comments. Peace.